Hello, my pretty people, my pretty, pretty people. <laughs> How are you guys? I hope you guys are doing well. Um, we are in the car, so that means we are vlogging. This vlog is going to be over a number of days. It's going to be very, like, weird. It's not going to be as cohesive as I would like it to be because um, that's just how the cookie crumbles. I've done, I did my nails, I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna show you that. And then I went to this like influencer mixer, networking, multicultural thing. I'm gonna show you that. Uh, that's a lot of words, is it not? But l let me tell you about that. Uh, I went to that because my cousin's job was hosting the event and I didn't want to go and she forced me to go. She was like, I want you in this room. I want you in these spaces. And I was like, all right, fine, I will go. And you know what? I'm very glad I did. I had such a great time. I met so many like-minded people, uh, very supportive, very encouraging. They gave really good advice. And if they weren't doing content creating, they were in marketing, strategy, all that stuff. And it was such a really good night. And I was just in a really good space. It was at the public hotel. And that was my first time going to that hotel as well. And it was beautiful. Definitely the pictures match. The pictures match what you see. It's beautiful. I had a moment where I could sit back and like look at it. And I was just like, yes, I can see myself in these kind of places. And I want to. I want to go to more events like this. Um, networking events, fashion events, makeup. Like I want to be in this kind of room. And even if it's not beauty related, where we're talking about like the black culture and like maybe social injustice and just all of that. Like I could see myself doing that. And it was just a great event. But enough of me talking. I'm going to show you the little footage I have because my intention when I got there was not to film. But I did take a few clips here and there. Um, so I'm going to show you that. Bear in mind that that footage is dark. So if it doesn't look 100, I do apologize. iPhone is great when in the sun. But when it's in dark, no, 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 no. It's just not that cute. Um, let's Let's play the clip. <laughs>
day. Please do not come for me about being in my sweater again another day. You know, it's my sweater. Wear it how I please. Plus, I just really need to run to Target. Like, quick 30 minute run and done. Went to living room last night. Um, took some footage, but it was really dark, so I don't expect the quality to be amazing. But I didn't get to vlog the way I wanted to when I got home because um, I ended up having a really shitty afternoon with just people coming for you, like if they know you, um, and just really being negative and stuff like that. So... I didn't get to really vlog the way I wanted to, but went to living room, got some food, drinks, did some hookah. It was really nice. Again, the footage was like really bad, so my apologies. Um, I am working on getting a new camera, getting the Sony ZV-1F camera. Uh, I know that one is new and it's specifically built for content creators, but I also know that it's like specifically for vloggers too, so it will be great for that. But I want to use that camera for literally everything for photos, vlogging, and like my sit down videos. So I hope it's good for that because it's well within budget compared to what I was going to pay for the ZVE10. Uh, that's the one I was gonna get until I saw this one and I saw how much it cost and all of that stuff. Ouch, Patricia, ouch. But, ooh, you're out of angle. But yes, I'm thinking of getting a new camera and I'm just heading to Target because I am, I have been making smoothies now for the last two, three weeks and it's been like the highlight of my day or like, it doesn't matter. I'll make it in the morning or I'll make it for my dinner. Like doesn't matter i'll just make it whenever i feel like it and it's literally one of my favorite things to do i look forward to making my smoothies and drinking my sparkling mineral water from pierre or i'm always saying it wrong forget that but those two things are the highlight of my days <laughs> so i'm heading to target to get a few things regarding my smoothies and just a little like household stuff and then i'm gonna get some thai food for dinner because i am not cooking and then i think that will be my day today today is sunday sundays are always chill for me i usually don't like to leave my house on a sunday but it is what it is but yeah anyways let me take you guys to target favorite sausages because I'm not a big sausage person but these chicken and dually sausages are amazing don't buy them up do not finish them I need to be able to have them I saw this eggnog and said let me try it I would have preferred it not to be oat milk based but we'll see um, it's high in sugar so I don't know maybe I'll get it maybe I won't we'll figure that part out up ahead Father, father likes his cashew. One thing I hate about being in Target is in the aisle with the tuna. Probably two something. One thing I hate about being in Target is you'll come here for one item and then leave with 15 things that you really absolutely do not need. That's pretty much my relationship with Target. It's driving me crazy. This is a combination of me and Kat's stuff, but we came here for five items each. It shouldn't look like this at all. It should not. I just got back home from Target and I'm packing away my groceries and I'm eating my chicken goizas for your feel good. I am so hungry. So. 
So it is 100 days later. <laughs> No, it's literally a week later. You know, I told you this vlog was definitely going to be like all over the place over a multitude of days. So here we are. Anyways, I am going out for dinner with a friend. I haven't seen her in so long. Um, but I want to do better of showing you guys my outfit. So it's not the greatest, but look, this is my outfit. All right, I have this H&M top. I showed you guys that in my H&M haul. I have these Fashion Nova leather pants and then these booties, very old, that I was just like, you know what, let's put it on. And then my newest addition, my Brandon Blackwood bag. Her name is Mufasa, okay? We've named her Mufasa. So this is the entire look. And yes, we're going to dinner and I might meet up with my sister after. Hopefully we do. Get some drinks, relax, have a great time. But yeah, let's go because she's waiting for me. can hear me this is not really the best lighting the best angle anything like that but this is what I've been doing all night it's been a really great night I'm just checking in really quickly um because I realized I haven't did any content because you know, sometimes you just don't want to show Jack to anyone to YouTube but anyways um it's been a great night I've just chatted I, I miss this um, is it Sweet Catch where we had dinner? Really good food. Drinks were really good. Um, it was really nice. I can definitely see that place booming. Um, but then we came across the street to my friend's, my friend's, her friend's business. And it, this is why I've been all night and I'm having the time of my life. But anyways, I don't think you can hear me. So like, let me go. Let me go. I'm going to check in when I meet up with my sister. <laughs> so it's been like, how many days later? I told you this was going to be done. Can you turn that down just a little bit, please? Thank you so much. Um so i told you guys that my nephews are in the back um told you it was going to be over done over a number of days right but um it is like su it's sunday and it's like the week before thanksgiving the sunday before thanksgiving but anyways um i last left you guys when i went out and that was super duper fun and i actually did record when i got home and was telling you guys about it but i was looking back at that your girl was very very inebriated and i was slurring and i was just like no that's not cute we you don't need to see that side of me yet <laughs> but um it was very nice the restaurant sweet catch is a new restaurant it opened like a month or two ago jacob yes? can you turn down your stuff please these kids don't respect me thank you so much i'm almost done that's the car beeping it's really annoying he needs to be in the car for it to stop beeping anyways it was really great it opened like a month ago sweet catch in brooklyn um and i can definitely see that place booming in the summer it looks so beautiful but um i don't want to 
I don't want you guys to have to deal with this beeping anymore, but I wanted to tell y'all that I'm going to get my eyebrows microbladed, both my sister and I, I'm waiting for her to come down. Um, I've had my eyebrows microbladed before. Uh, I'm not going to the same person. Um, like you can kind of see it like right in these areas, but um, I had it microbladed last year and it was fine. I liked having it. it I wanted it to look more hair-like, but I've learned that that's just not something that I'm ever gonna achieve unless it's just my natural hair. But um, I'm gonna get it microbladed because it's starting to look really bare and like it's due to get redone anyways. So that is where we're going and I'm gonna take you guys with me. So let's go. because my dad is watching TV. So you're gonna hear the TV in the background, but um, I am back home. So this is now my second time getting microblading. Um, this person that I went to is different than the one that I went to the first time. And um, honestly, I like this one better because she used numbing cream. The first one I went to did not use any kind of numbing cream and it was so painful. Um, so, I mean, I didn't scream out or anything, but it was just, no one should have to go through that if they don't have to. So the woman that I went to the first time said it was because of the healing process and all of that stuff. Like numbing is not really the best, but. These are the hair like strokes. I did show her like an inspiration um, and what my eyebrows looked like before. And she did let me know to not get them wet for an entire month, do not wet them keep them moist with like Vaseline, Aquaphor, some type of oil. And for the first, no, no, wait, did she say not to get them wet for a whole month? Either a whole month or a whole week. Wait, I think I got my whole thing wrong. Either I'm not supposed to get them wet for a week. I think it's a week. Yeah, that sounds more like it. Don't wet my eyebrows for a week and then keep them really moist. And then in a month, I come back for a touch up. Yeah, that sounds like more like it. Um, but yeah, the process was very smooth. It wasn't on a scale of one to 10 pain wise, it was like a three because a three because, um, you know, there were certain parts that you felt it, but sh I was numb for a while. I was numb for at least like an hour and a half because that's how long I waited. When she got there, she was working on somebody else and then my sister went and then I went. So it was, but she's very fast. It was like, 20, 30 minutes. Um, but like I said, it's a very quick process and she was very nice and very affordable too. Um, but yeah, these are the box. And I will keep you guys updated. They're gonna peel off and scab and itch and look terrible. Um, but she just said when it's peeling, just keep it very moisturized, all that stuff. So that is what I plan to do. And yeah, I will definitely keep you guys like updated on the entire process. I mean, I hope you can hear me. But I'll definitely keep you guys updated on the entire process um, because I know I've, I think it might be informative for someone that is considering doing it. Um, it's a lot lighter than tattooing. Um, but if you're expecting to get hair like strokes, even when it's healed, no, they are not. Um, and that's something I did not realize. Like these hair like strokes are gonna um, peel off and just look more like a blot of color, which 
I've gotten used to and I'm okay with that. I just didn't want that sharp like stamp on my face that tattoos can bring. Um, so yeah, but I will definitely keep you guys updated on the process and take you with me. But I am going to end this vlog here because I think I personally stretched this out. <laughs> It's been over a number of days. I've been filming this vlog for like three weeks. And I'm gonna knock it down to like 10, 15 minutes. So yeah, I'm gonna end this vlog here. Um, if you have any questions about like microblading, you can definitely let me know. Like hit me up comments or in my DMs and then I will answer to the best of my abilities. Um, since, you know, it's my second rodeo with it. But yeah, if you have any questions, let me know and I will catch you guys in another video.